And I'll be following the Redcoats for this round. And uh, Chad, you'll be following the 303rd, that's correct, right? That is correct. Very cool. You are in their commander comms, correct? You created a squad? Oh, good call. It was not. Yeah, baby. You want to listen to those red coats? Mic check, mic check, red coats. Yes, Rusty. Yes, Rusty. Uh, hey, loud and Okay, just as we planned out, let's move. like to welcome Iron Taxi, who is now uh, camming uh, inside the match with us. He's flying around. Oh, very cool. They may even be streaming over on the official uh, squad stream. I know they were talking about it, so it's very likely. Very cool. It's very nice to have the devs, uh, you know, so excited about competitive squad play. You know, that's absolutely critical for the future is to have them on board. So I'm happy that they're happy. Well, it, and you know, the other big thing about that, too, is it's not just devs, it's the clans, you know, that the clans buy into what it is that we want to do. Because, you know, without clans, it, yeah, Russ, I've got CK it's and, not uh, even possible without the clans. So it, it, you. it's nice to see their level of, uh, of dedication into this as well, that it matches, you know, the squad league staff's enthusiasm as well as the devs. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll see what these teams do here. Last match was very eventful. Yeah, Blitz will get first tag, mate. We'll go straight across the river. 303rd lost yeah, the last one. Push north and meet them. The uh, Red Coats. Copy that. Definitely had some pretty awesome tactics to employ, and I think that 303rd is going to capitalize on some of the things that worked for the Red Coats. I think they're going to come up with some things. Uh, some Ross, new they're coming down the creek to my north. Yeah, they're themselves. on the flag in front of you, Blitz, sir. They're on the flag in front of you in the field. And now we're going to be listening in. 100 meters past flag. To the Red Coats comms. They sure do like to talk. This is going to be a very fun round following these guys. All right, we got three of them taking the fire from up on the hill. You can't the game range. Now. We're losing stamina here. Cheers, brother. In the northern yeah, portion of the northern uh, cat flag for Cheers, the real third. Once we get on it, mate, you can move off. Got snipers to our east, lads, beware. On that hill line east. Let me know when you're on, Russ. Desire CML, thanks for that donation. Goes right into our server fund, keeps our servers going, Rush keeps our matches going, keeps Squad League going. So thanks very much for that donation. And CML, we look forward to seeing you guys next month, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We are starting to get quite a few clans. It's getting pretty, uh, pretty involved over Rossi, on our forums. Rossi, you want to push that east side with your cap, brother? I hate to see the day that we have to find a way to restrict you. how we get you. You people into leagues east? and tournaments and ladders. Yeah, push that east right. side of the river, we'll That'll west. be a good problem to have, though. Yeah, Chad, you know, you were right when we were talking during the first Which match, the Redcoats. Man, they run yeah, their mouths. Hey, uh, Rusty, the overlay's still up. Uh, Ross is telling me, so... Oh, no, I, I took it down. They can't see the match. Okay. I took it down. Push it, Rossi. Shit. Redcoats already on a strong flank free. to the northeast. Wow, they're almost to the Rossi, radio tower uh, already. So north side of this next flag, they're all over that. See if you can get start We're sitting at shit. 148, just FYI, if people do wonder what this side is right now. We're also sitting at 148. They on your side or our side, Blitz? They have north side of the second flag, we're pushing now. Your side or our side? Your side, your side, north of the second flag. And keep in mind that balance be between going that overhead shot and that, uh, that up close so that everyone can kind of get what they want. Yep. Looking right now at the over, uh, overhead view of the battle. Yo, Blitzer, watch out. I'm surprised with the Redcoats' speed. They uh, are. Uh, the the they Got sure do like to run early on in the match. They like coffee, to get on coffee. the flanks of the enemy and fight them there. Blitzer, 
Look at it to disengage and start Looking flanking it for too, the final flank around the mountain. You can tell the red coats split up between... We've got one squad that went down and to those flags, and the other two We've got to push this flag once we cap them. I'll let you know you can push. Big time. Reloading. There's a nice waters. RPG. All right, so three oh third is recognizing the one by the bridge. They're trying to work their way up the ravine, and then heading west, southwest to go meet the uh, redcoats. He's moving. He's moving to the. Let's see your guys south on the cap flags. It looks like Kruger just left his guys. Is up there by himself. I don't know if he's trying to be point man to see what's going on, but his squad's coming up behind him. Kruger just went down because of it too. You lost yeah, Rossi. Uh, Are your guys on the, the defense flag? Get it so that we can see if you get it. Guys on the deep. Copy, copy. It's all winter, brother. Reload it. Yeah, it looks like the 303rd came and really wiped the uh, the Redcoats' flank over here. But I think they have a rally in the rear, so I think they're going to be spawning in back here. And for the audience to know, too, well, how we do these rounds, the <clears throat> one match is the, the same map. Uh, they switch sides after the win. And if it goes tie, we go to the ticket numbers Copy as the, uh, the deciding factor. So we don't do a best of three. We do two matches. If it goes 1-1, one, one, we go to who had the most tickets left. That is correct. And looking at the flags here, we've got a 2-2 two -two split. With the, uh, We're Tiger sitting at 146 <laughs> over here. We're at 143 over here. Tiger Battalion owns territory northwest. Was that last split? Neutralizing. And the red coats to the south. Roger that, boss. Do you want us to start? Uh, do you want us to start the push? The flank. We're back. We're falling back. Yes. Start pushing. Sorry, what was that? You want me to push onto the next way? Oh, we're losing the D. No, D's fine. D's fine. It was my bad. D's fine. You see this firefight up on the hilltop over here? No, I'm covering down the uh, the ravine that the poppy fields along the roads. Uh, they're trying to do some heavy fighting across here. Yeah, and it looks like they're both trying to hold the positions on those flags. I'm here. Uh, Three hundred third and uh, the red coat. Right, enemy, enemy in blue. Enemy in blue. Uh, with the Iron X Bay leading that uh, defense right there. Hold, hold. Don't respawn quick. Sangs just dropped hellfire with a grenade right to the face, we found too. Tips if you got one. Thank you. Hey, I'm up first. I'm getting my guys ready to move on to that next attack flag, on, Roger. Here. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Time. Yeah, any citizen, CK, wait, grab your boys, we're gonna be behind it. Come with us. The behind it looks uh, looks good, the behind. Copy. Huh? Push, 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 push! Behind the hill looks clear, I couldn't see anyone. We're gonna take this far, Brossy, we're gonna take it, let's son. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What, on your own, or do you want me to move up? I'll say it. All of us, let's push it. How's let's that hilltop it. going? Yeah, you wanna go? Redcoats totally took them over, let's and now they're moving quickly down the valley. I think they can smell a tiger fob up here. With the uh, the comms just getting incredibly intense. Yeah, it looks like Rossi Raiders uh, pushing his guys up here in the middle, trying to take that next flag. The Redcoats they really like to have these coordinated they're, they're attacks. They're pushing that A flag, Ross, from the east side. Where they they're talking about pushing at the same time, having one squad push 
you know, squad to the east pushes while the other squad pushes. It's interesting that they do it at the exact same time. So we got uh, Rossi Raiders squad over here going up against Mizu. Uh, that's where this flag's going down right now. We're down to 139 tickets for the Redcoats. We are at 139 tickets. So we are tied even right now. Right, we're just yeah, in here in cap zone so now. Oh, you got him. Yeah, Blitz has got a yeah, big, yeah, uh, big push coming in too. Oh. Into we're this flag. I'm coming, mate. Right, coming. Copy, copy. They're on that smoke, aren't they? Uh, unsure. I think that might be friendly smoke because we got. Is that your smoke, Ross? Really wish our cams could see the uh, the flag progress uh, uh, when we go I into them. So. No. Absolutely. Okay, you've got negative. contact uh, smoke to your side. I'm looking back at the radio tower now. It looks like we've got red coats up on that hill. Say again? Only about three or four of them. Right, it's the enemy smoke to your south. The tigers are absolutely yeah, aware of enemy. that, and they are backtracking, hoping that the red coats haven't set a fob up. We're looking at Japs Eye Squad right now. Who was the squad that flanked very hard and very effectively from the east on the last match? Good, good stuff, hey, guys. don't forget to uh, to zoom out too. We see that people want to see that uh, that quick snapshot every now and then um, of what's going on. So I'm I'm about like 200 feet above the map right now. Yep. Yeah, one thing Iron X Bay you could tell on the comms right now is getting worried about is uh, some of his guys are off in the east southeast uh, trying to take out Phantom squads or something. There was a couple out there, but now they've got about six, seven guys that are just lost to the cause. Are you getting on rock out uh, there Japs? in the east southeast? Ninety percent capped. Ninety percent uh, capped. Jump just tapped out. Jump just tapped out. I've timed out. I've had to take over. Roger, roger. And for those audience, I'm getting updates from Ross from the chat on my Skype on my phone. Um, with the objectives, it, the only way that we can truly show you what the objectives everyone's fighting over is if Rusty brings up the match or the map uh, on the screen and kind of talks to it and zooms in on it. But, but so in the future, we're hoping as you watch the field, stream, you can see where the objectives are. Because I know right now it's hard to see those things. Roger. Yeah, so if you can look right now. This section right here, uh, this is the town right here, and then you have all of these southern flags, and they kind of hopscotch their way up the valley, looking at this map. And the way that it works, the uh, the team that spawns over here to the west is supposed to come in here, cap the Syedabad South Fields, and then move up um, through these fields. And then the team that spawns over on this side, the Russians, they're supposed to come down and uh, capture Malakabad uh, first, position, and then move west. down um, east through the fields. So that you have the, the enemies, uh, you know, have the both teams fighting there in the middle. Um, so as you can see right now, the uh, the flags oh, are being held the by the red coats. Gonna, so the red coats are dominating the flags right mountain. now. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd try and do that, mate. With multiple contacts coming in northwest of my position. And how the flag placement the is like that, everybody. What it does is sucks everybody to uh, where those push and gains are. So you know. Right now, there's only one capable flag for 303rd, so likely all of them try to push back uh, to start retaking that first flag for them. Pikmin, you're coming up now. Cheers, dude. Help me get my 
We are sitting at 124 tickets for 303rd. And we're at 135 for the Redcoats. Compound, you move into so it's still uh, closer than the flag side of the story. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hard between myself and Blitz, there's enemies all around. And if we do have any other uh, new audience members, you may see the camp zoom out really yeah, high. You see that there's a lot of kind of unfinished areas. Know that this is even part of the alpha process with Chaps, squad, and that they're, they're, that these maps are expanding and growing yeah, as the right game now. progresses. So by no means are you looking at finished Roger, products that on these marker, maps. Boys, that, that is the fob. That is the fob. Confirmed. Yeah, blitz. One twenty one on tickets. One twenty six over here. Right, we're just on the day for the minute until we can get a sit rep. Suggest everyone regroups. Japs stay up there. Rossi regroup for us when you get chance. Let's just take the pressure for a bit and then push that fob. Yeah, the uh the red coats are talking about pushing the enemy fob for the three hundred and third. Looks like they have uh three hundred and third has reclaimed most of their eastern territory. Still got Japs eye up over there. And uh, Grumpy as well, so we'll see if those two guys go down over there. But the hey, 303rd has, for the most part, reclaimed that area. Shifting now over to the northwest. 303rd fighting heavily right smack dab over the river valley. Red shot, my guys. Now is let's where the lead is flying. The Red coach shooting yeah, through the trees. The I'm take my hard north to see if we get a In that southeastern portion, are they... Uh... Are they trying to take down a fob yeah. of the red coats? Is that why they're all concentrated? I believe in, it was the because region? the red coats were trying. The red coats at one point were up at the radio tower, and I think the three hundred yeah, third thought. Yep. I think they thought that they put a fob back there for you know, like kind of like a late game surprise or something. And uh, the you know the three hundred third, they really jumped on that and they cleared the whole area. And uh, there are no more red coats. No, over to the that, east. Uh, current, uh, defend flag blitz of that last flag. The three of us All have right, been so if you look at the, the, uh, the flag Copy, that the uh, 303rd has to take, no, sorry, no. we've got a squad 2 sitting Com north of uh, it, the but river. they're not penetrating trying to cap that flag back because they're missing a lot of people that are down there in that southeastern region of the okay, flag. Well, so, we'll the you know, right now they're not even attempting uh, to take that flag, flag back. Right. Yeah, if the 303rd wants to stay back in this, they're going to have to shift their attention to their attack flag, which is all the way out here to the north. Yep, and they're at 120 right now. And the Redcoats are at 119, so the 303rd is absolutely sticking with them, even though the Redcoats do have the territory. We'll see if the Redcoats sit on this position and start bleeding tickets from the Tigers. Or if the Tigers are able to recapture these flags, they've got to shift a lot of manpower over to the north if they want to have a chance at reclaiming some of these flags over here. GLs from the east. Well, from what I can tell, even if they do start getting into that cap zone, though, the Redcoats are pretty heavily fortified in that zone, so they they got a lot of guys to clear out if they want to yeah. do that. Both of you guys bandage, if you can. And then get your guns out and I'll sort you out. You going back up to that battle cam view? Yeah, I was just there. I'm just coming, coming down. Now. Okay, copy. I don't know oh, what shit, I CIBK the flying around. Just across the bird there. Directly yeah, the a large the portion of the 303 force are sitting in the south. They're, they're not Somebody even fighting that yeah, many that people. And Iron Beck's yep. Bay right now, you can yep. tell on uh, Commander Comms is getting frustrated because he he, he wants there? things for his guys to do, and they're not doing know. it down there in the south. They're saying right now they're getting frustrated. The uh, that they don't care about the flags for so much. Jeff, just you know, mate, the, just uh, been out to your uh, to yourself. Those tickets. Bit. 
that's the worry. Yeah, we're sitting at 115, 115 tickets left for the Redcoats. Copy. You know what it goes to highlight those in the future that you think about is is that is that how you want a match to go? I think that this is we're so furthest. ticket dependent I think just that take people don't care about capping flags. You know what I mean? What where's right. the trade-off start to come over of hey, you know, do you get tickets back when you cap flags, things like that? So three oh thirds not making any pushes because flags don't matter, well, you know, is, is that what you want long term? Right. You know what I mean? That, right. That's something you you definitely and it's a trade off right now. That's something that is it's a legitimate tactic right now. Absolutely, and especially with fobs too, because when you lose a fob, I believe it's twenty tickets, twenty or fifteen tickets. I'll have to check with that, but but it's a huge amount of ticket drain. So if you're able to uh, if you're if you're reckless setting up your fobs and the enemy captures it, I mean that's fifteen guys that you just you know that you lost. That's fifteen tickets. That's a huge amount. Um, so it's interesting to see these uh, these clans go at it because they're very protective over their fobs and they hunt them down like they really do hunt them down especially on comms you can hear the redcoats you know oh there's an enemy fob over there and it's like everybody looks that way they like okay we yeah gotta, everyone, we gotta, yep, detours. we gotta get to that location we gotta take out their fob because it's uh you know it's it's like two squads worth of tickets right there yep and and 303's only built one fob so that goes to show they they, they don't want to get all those fobs up. Right. You know, there's something to be said when you get multiple... You know, it's always that risk versus reward because, you know, if you only get one fob set up, sometimes it's... You know, if, if, if the opposite team doesn't decide to take that fob down, now they just control where you're coming from. And they just say, hey, don't take the fob down. Take them as they come. Where... If you go set up another fob on the other side, say you drop a you flank, well now you can say, all right, well they're expecting this side. Let's start f spawning on the other and come in from you know a different angle for surprise. But you know, like I said, that that risk versus reward. Pushing back down to it now, we had to re um. Do we know if we're losing it? But no, it was fine when I left it, there's still uh, anti citizen on it, I think. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, all good, it's all good. So the Redcoats now five hills. talking five. about their flags. The uh, East Hill. troops to the north just went back to uh, rearm and refit. They're now back on the front line, and uh, the 303rd hasn't taken any of the. Uh, any of the, um, they haven't captured the flag over in this area. Um, so the, the Redcoat's still talking about those flags, and they're definitely, uh, at least this northern part, sitting defensively um, with the flag in mind. So they're all about holding this flag right now. 303rd now moving almost off the flag to the southeast. We're at 105 tickets left for the Redcoats. We're sitting at 108 here, so, like I said, even though those flags look to tell a different story, I mean, they're they're dead neck and neck on the on the ticket count. Yeah, absolutely. It's now going to come down to. You know, but we saw to, this. Go ahead. It's now going to come down to skill, is what I was going to say. Is, you know, it's it's uh, who can have the better tactics? Who's going to be checking those corners? You know, have you, have you practiced with your guys and told them you know, you're watching three o'clock, you're watching our six. You know, that's the kind of we'll stuff that's going to start to pay off right now. And set up a nice defensive line oh, for and it, and two, a bleed, really, yeah? to make the move. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, we saw this last, uh, on December 5th with F SFSS and, uh, and 303rd where the first match went a little faster. In the second match, you could tell everyone yeah, right. starts entrenching a little bit because no one wants to give their positions. You know, and you're, and you're seeing that. No one's as aggressive as they were that last match. So right now, uh, Iron X Bay and his guys are just going to hold this hill. Looks like Fox Trot Seven Keypad Eight-ish area, but 
if you see them, Rusty, they're all just kind of piled up on this hill, and they're just looks like they're just going to sit there and try to cover that down without taking the flag. I'm looking now at the Redcoats that are uh, making quite a push across the river. They've more or less wiped all but except three Tigers. And they are now moving up the hill to the north. Kinger Everett and SPQ are now getting engaged. We saw those three sticking together last match. Holding so down the shot. Fort. Yeah, we're gonna hold this north side for you, Russ, mate. Yeah, it looks like Blitz is leading these guys. Yeah, where they were moving them. down that, that I, It looks like they're trying the to front. find out the where all those other 303rd guys. Kinger down, and Everett go down, 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 but down Patty and CKY get taken right. out in that process. Me. Now it's Paraplays and SPQR. I'm in the field. Yes, clear, it's clear, it's clear. A mere 10 feet apart. Come and power just so I'm coming towards you. SPQR prone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clear, clear, clear. See, Paraplays is looking. He knows someone's still there. He walks right in front of SPQR, who yeah, doesn't yeah, take the shot. He's just trying to get out alive. All right, so hey, check this out. I got Battleborn up on one of these hills. He's got the SVD with the scope, and he's starting to see where all those other 303 Tiger guys are uh, out there to the southeast. So expect some engagement to start hitting there. And there it goes already. Yeah, you can hear that SVD opening up. Speaking of uh, Battleborn, so he's uh, Battleborn was actually in the Australian Army, and uh, one of the maps that the devs have done, Chora, uh, Battleborn actually served a tour out there. So, so it's kind of cool for him. I, I've talked to him a couple times. He thinks it's a uh, pretty neat plan on a map that he's actually served a tour of duty in for Australia. Yeah, that is very cool. We're now down to a hundred tickets. For the red coats, we're at 104. Okay, so the 303rd now taking the tickets to the red coats. And you know, one thing that is great to see with these teams is they keep fighting, even though they may not know if they're down or if they're winning. You know, if you were to just look at the map, you'd say, "Oh, all right, it looks like the red coats are winning." They're all in the enemy territory. They've got all the flags. Direction, Russ. And I think it's kind of in the back of every 303rd guy's mind. Like, you know, we're probably losing in terms of tickets, but that's not the case right now because they're fighting so effectively. Well, and you add on top of that, you know, all these guys are so separated right now, but, you know, to them, Where they think somebody's yet? right around the corner coming to attack. So it, these guys don't Red realize how spaced out they are away from each other now. right now. To them, it's shit, somebody's right around that tree right now, you know? Right. I'm watching the uh, the red coats right now. They're making that push. They're making that push, and you can see the yep, 303rd. That's guys. Now, do they have a fob in that compound, the 303rd? Because I'm seeing some. Uh, I don't know if that's an ammo box they have I, down. I can't tell. They might. It's it's you know you can't see the camera placement on the map, so it's hard to see. And they do have uh, the ammo. The fob down. is in Foxtrot Seven Keypad uh, Seven. Yeah, they do got a fob in there. You can see yep. their uh, their emplacements. Uh, Three hundred third is just acknowledging on the. Uh, Enemy's comms crossing the river that, south. Uh, red coats have found it. South of the D flag, close. Red coats now calling it out, saying enemies are south of the D flag. Hey, thanks, uh, hey, Ross, for you know, 244 concurrent viewers. Smoke the notes, uh, enemy, smoke the notes, right enemy. By 60. So, uh, I very appreciate awesome. everyone out there. Yeah, very awesome. Appreciate you guys out there watching us And know that we're going to get much better as this goes. Good stuff, big man. And don't everyone fall too in love with Rusty's voice. Everyone loved it last time. Oh, mine's, yeah. Mine's sick. You know, everybody asks me, oh, you must have been announcing esports all your life. I'm like, this is the second time I've ever done it. I think it's just, uh, I don't know, maybe it comes natural. Uh, definitely, That's man. And, and, and we definitely like feedback on that angle, too. Because we definitely, we don't want to be those announcer types that are over the top, that are just... Yeah, absolutely. You know, that are overbearing, that people want to leave. That's, that is never our goal. 
Yeah. I've got him. And th thank you to our uh, uh, Ross. We appreciate it, man. Doing the uh, the chat moderation. He's our he's our Scottish bastard. We love him, but he's uh, he can't talk today. <laughs> he's a little. Uh, he had a little New Year's fun. <laughs> Love you, I, think we, I think we all did. It's just about, you know, can you rally back? Enemies coming I will up say that the, the battle has moved a little reach. bit from that bridge area, though. And we're, we're moving off to more the middle of the, uh, the ravine, the, the stream here. But they still left the cat flag. There's not a single 303rd inside the cap zone. Absolutely. They've actually pushed back um, towards the west, almost towards the south, actually, um, to, uh, you know, come across the river. And they're now engaging the Redcoats on their own side. Redcoats giving it to them. And as you can see from our overhead cam, you can see all of, almost all of the uh, players here, except for Battleborn fighting some 303rd guys out there in the north. You can see we're doing some very close quarter combat fighting right here. It, it shows you too. Like I said, the uh, 303rd is not playing the flag game at all anymore. They totally abandoned the flag. Uh, yeah, just hit, you know, just go. objectives. Absolutely. We're at 91 tickets, by the way. And we're at 92. This is going to be a very, very close match. Enemy down. Oh, good good way way so they're playing fob hunters, but it makes you. Well, makes and you I'm think, hearing right it, now that the uh, the uh, the redcoats are saying that they just took an enemy fob down. I believe that is going to be the fob. Um, they did. Um, three thirds fob is gone from the uh, the map. So do they have any more fobs? Or are they now back to main? No, no more fobs. They are back to main. AF yeah, Soccer, thanks very much right for that twenty-five dollar donation. Thanks very much, man. We really appreciate it. Just want to let the uh, Twitch chat know if you guys want to give us some feedback, some improvements that you might have, or ideas. Uh, you can go over to squadleague.com, register on the forums, and throw your ideas there. Or you can even um, chat us on Discord. We're on Discord. You can come in. We've got some public channels where we like to interact with our community and talk with people about Twitter, Squad all sorts League. of stuff. Yeah, and we've got a Twitter, too. So uh, there's many avenues of communication. So hit us up. We love to hear your ideas. In Twitter, we definitely try to get out our, uh, for a lot of the matches, we try to put out posters for uh, these matches to kind of showcase them a little bit. So, uh, you know, if you if you go on the Twitter, well, we have those going out there sometimes. We subscribe to the other clans, so any clans that are out there, if you have official accounts, please please subscribe. Mm -hmm. We uh, follow you back, and we'll uh, make sure we get everyone kind of um, pinging off each other. It's obvious the red coat's on top, man. As a deep flag looking, Russ. Red coats I like being uh, on top. Uh, red coat. Yeah, dude, there was definitely. So for three and third, we got squad, right, uh, squad one, we squad two. Taz. I'm pretty coming sure south two more from the main. Possibility for a second yeah, spot. They're yeah, still right. not but making any push on those flags. I just follow them around this time. Oi, stop talking about what you're gonna do after. Let's get it going. Let's get it done, lads. Let's move off. This is our fucking, right. this is our shit. Are Redcoats still talking a lot? Here. This is ours. They are Gandalf. right now. <laughs> oh, by the way, with that fob fucking going down, uh, three to third is now 65 right, tickets. We're gonna, we're gonna hold I am your fob. This is our spot we're gonna hold, okay? And we've got 87 tickets now. Fucking yeah, that was a 20 point swing. Rossi, I'm going there for ammo. Yeah, roger that. Rossi getting vocal with the squad. Japs, multiple contacts to your north, brother, on that old fob, my boys are Looks taking. Like they might need a bit of support. Uh, their old fob compound back. Yeah, Blizz, yep. Blizz, yeah, Blizz does tell them right now moment. that there's uh, more contacts, more tigers they're rolling in on that location. They're going to need some, su yep, some support. Yeah, I see them there. in there now. Well confirmed. Their fob is down. Their fob is down. Their fob is down to the east. My boys have done it. Yep. Copy, copy. Blizz, that flag yep, Kruger just took out Batsy, who's inside yeah, that Roger. compound. Now we got Hellfire trying to, to move around as well.
And FYI to, the, to those watching, after this match, uh, one thing we like to do is bring uh, the squad leaders in for an after-match party, we call it. And, uh, you know, we let everyone kind of, you know, talk about what their experiences were, you know, what, what they thought they did, what they thought they went wrong. So it's kind of it's kind of neat having those squads, uh, clans talk to each other about what they think happened and, oh, that's what you were doing and that kind of thing. So, you know, actually, I... I I find that it's almost as enjoyable as watching these matches. Absolutely. Well, we had another crash. And the Redcoats now are taking Somebody? force of this west side here. They've still got a force across the smoke? river to the east. Ross, is that your the smoke? 303rd is now massing their forces in the center Martin, valley. Up. Heavy sniper fire up here, though. Roger. They're now completely the in control of their the old fob location. And we're almost... Seems like that's where they're entrenching, is there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, I think the 303rd thinks that, you know, if we can get a good defensive position, I think we can beat these guys. There are 57 tickets. And we're at 78 we'll here. So Open it is starting to swing towards the, uh, the Redcoats as they get lined up here. And if you look, those Redcoats, they're definitely... That position that you're covering down on, too, uh, Rusty, is they're, they're holding that flag. They're making sure no one gets back in there. You know, the Redcoats are playing the flag game. Absolutely. And yeah, the guys are getting it. lit up by that guy on that northeastern hill there. Yeah, we're going to push him by that. Roger that, Blitz. However, the 303rd is in a very defensive position. So if, uh, you know, if the 303rd is going to make the Redcoats come to them... The Redcoats are going to have a pretty hard time getting through the uh, defenses here because these guys are really starting to dig in. Yeah, and, and the Redcoats aren't sending much that way. They've, we've only got one little squad uh, by Jap's eye that's, that's it, essentially tickling, you know, the 303rd over there. Absolutely. Because everyone else is still at that, uh, that defend flag of theirs. But I guess there is a push coming up by Blitza up that hill in the north, by the bridge. They're going to try to come around the side of that. Blitz, you've got enemies uh, to your east, by the low wall. And they're going to go unhindered, too. There's yeah, no way to stop them from uh, getting up this hill. Absolutely. And trying to see what's going on. Yeah, if they can get uh, if they can get that SVD back up there with Battleborn, well, that's going to be... You uh, know, I was looking at that. Battleborn's not with them right now. I don't know where he's at. He's, um, he's just behind him. He's trailing behind. Oh, there he is. I see him. Yeah, so he gets down there and starts providing cover. You that know, especially SVD that is... long range. They're going to be yeah, running. Absolutely. Batsy now being the one to skyline here. Cresting for the red coats, as you can see down into the valley. A lot of tigers down there. New fob see him on the rooftops. Chaps. See him in the compounds. Right, yeah, we're going to come in from the west if you need, chaps. North. Was uh, telling his uh, teammates he's coming in from the west. We will definitely need. So I'm getting my <laughs> camera down into their, uh, right, their old compound in. for the 303rd area, and you can't really see the 303rd or the Redcoats yeah, coming in because of uh, all I mean, the foliage and buildings. They just to. don't see that those guys are coming from that angle right now. Hold for the most part. Boys. The rogue grenade is probably announcing it to the guys right now. Absolutely. And we've seen this before. This is a coordinated push from the Redcoats. 303rd is definitely entrenched. But uh, Jap's Eye is saying that they need a lot more manpower up here. So you can start to see the Redcoats as they shift their forces. Now seeing Rossi Raider and all those guys down there. Massing in the center. Jap's Eye still tickling the Tigers over there. Thanks for that one, Chad. That's a, that's a good one. I think we'll reuse that one. And Battleborn now up with the SVD, forced to be reckoned with as Hellfire, Batsy, Kips, and Blizzda move down. And all that stands between them now and the main 303rd force is Ramsey. We're sitting at 156 uh, tickets. And we're at 73 here for the Redcoats.
Taking a look now over at Japs High Squad. I think one of the I challenges just went down. that ja yeah, one of the challenges I can um, you know definitely attest to for these uh, these kind of more guerrilla style squads that are um, displacing constantly is you have to be a very um, quick to think squad league or squad leader rather uh, because you have to always be updating that rally point um, because you know if if too many guys spawn in that rally point disappears you can only have I believe eight spawns or seven spawns or something like that on that rally point. And also, if the enemies get near it, they will take out that rally point. So you have to always be um, uh, Russia, conscious of where you put that rally point down. And we'll create a nice little block. That call you, Russ? Taking an overhead look here. I'm just going to send my guys up east, and we're going to create a nice little circle around their fob. That call you. Yeah, Russ, I'm here. We'll get our little squad to hold this for now. I'll give you a hollow if anything happens. So it does look like Battleborn is definitely staying up there in his spot, just basically being the lookout for his guys. I'm imagining he's probably calling out for Blitza where these guys are as they start moving in to clear those compounds. Yeah, you know, I can remember when they first introduced um, those Jeff, rifles into the game, they weren't very good because they didn't have scopes on them. Yeah, but enemies. now they're absolutely a force to be reckoned with. It's one of the big advantages on the, uh, you know, on the militia, the insurgent side having that weapon. Now the the counterpart for the uh, for the U.S. side is having those ACOG scopes. Right. Oh, Battleborn just got Blitz sniped from somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah, he went down hard. I don't even know where that shot came That's from. Not mine. Got me. Uh, but it was probably an ACOG if they shot from that far away. Speak of the devil. Pretty funny. I was right behind him and I'm covering him, trying to see what he's calling out. Bam, he gets shot. There's another one uh, straight south. Watch this dark as they're going to be more coming in. Three and is calling out in their commander comms that they've got uh, all these red coats coming in on the compound. 303rd sitting at 51 tickets. I'll try and cover you. And we're at 64 here. 64 tickets for the Redcoats. Redcoats have any, uh... Do they have a FOB? The Redcoats FOB... They have... One FOB, like... Pretty much right outside of their, uh... Main spawn there. And then they've got their rally points spread around. But no, they just have one FOB. One FOB out to the, uh... Basically on the hilltop, right by their spawn. So doing oh, a very wow. good job yeah, so utilizing those rally that, points. Uh, yeah. Get another overhead shot here. Can see Jab Squad still out there. 303rd holding this position pretty well. Although their old uh, hey, one, their compound over us. here to the uh, north is still up to the northeast. Pretty much all of them have gone down, including Dock East, as you can see there. Is everybody down? If you see now, um, it looks like the red oh, coast has narrowed in where 303rd is hungry oh, down. And they're trying spot. to come at them from most sides. So you've got that one squad coming on the southeast. Take, That's Jap side group. You know, you've got one group coming from the west southwest, and then it was Blitz's guys before that were trying to come from that yeah, northern push. Yeah, we need that 20 tickets, don't we? We need that 20 tickets. So they're definitely collapsing them down to that fob area. Right. And we're down to 58 tickets here. We're at 47, so it's closing that gap again. Absolutely. We're losing that fob. Redcoats are talking about finding the other 303rd fob. And they really want those tickets. They're talking about those tickets. Like I said, there's no other fob. The 303rd has one fob. Yep, and you see Jap's eye right now taking a group out there going to look. And they're looking for nothing. Go get him. Blitzer, do you want my guys to push northeast uh, to support Rossi? Will you coming down behind us? Yeah, so we'll 47 tickets. Yep. And we're at 57. Yeah. So just a 10 ticket difference as we come into the final part of this match.
Keep walking. You can walk. Jap squad now in a pretty awesome flanking position. Coming up behind the 303rd. Who's got their backs turned to them. Yeah, it's important to note if anyone's even joined the stream again that, uh, you know, these clans have abandoned the flag, so the uh, Redcoats aren't even trying to even defend I'm their uh, location for flag radio anymore. Boys, but that's general area. They're just all trying to pile onto the compound where the 303rd is. Iron Next page just said they have nine tickets left. I'm seeing 43. Um, I don't know if there's a difference going on right there with that. Okay, that's something. Oh, he, he might have meant Rally Point, though. Oh, for his uh, spawns left, maybe? He could have meant. He said tickets, though. Maybe he misspoke. Maybe. I'm too... What the fuck? Dibs be getting pretty mad that he was just shot in the back by Infidel Rage there, who climbed up the ladder. I think what he's talking that's about the, is losing we, we the fob. We don't need to push this fob, do we? Is we really don't. Once that fob goes down, down we where yeah. that's going to put them at the tickets. We need right. the tickets, mate. Just get them. I mean, that's all the Redcoats are talking about right now, is tickets, tickets, tickets. As you can see, Rusty K squad is the, uh... They're out there right now, firing on them. You can see Blizda in the rear, still holding that flag. Yeah, if you think about it, the new flag, the fin flag, is the FOB. That's what it's come down to now. Right, absolutely. They're fighting over the FOB right now. And the match, that's the match right there, is the FOB. They need to win by 35 tickets plus. So 303rd on their team now are telling each other down not there, to respawn. There. So they're, they're forcing a lot of uh, pressure yeah, on those medics they, they both to uh, keep them up. Or they're just going to whittle themselves down very little oh, right. people alive. Uh, no, they just cut the first two. We took them off them. So that's, so, that, on, so that's 20 tickets, isn't it? The, uh, the Redcoats right now, are they're talking about how many tickets the enemies must have left. Talking about the flags that they took and the fob that they took. And uh, they are calculating in their mind right now what the enemy must be at. So they are, they know this is definitely coming down to the wire. Yeah, yeah. What do they think it's at? They have not thrown out any number guesses. They haven't thrown out any number guesses yet. But We're they, sending 40 now. They say that we have to absolutely take their fob. So they are pushing very they hard. They would be right. I think they're going to have to rely on... Uh, a little bit more help from Jap squad back there in the rear, which is currently engaged. Uh, because Blizz squad is still sitting down by the flag. Not quite sure why they're still sitting down there. They could definitely be up here supporting. They might think that the yeah. 303rd has some recon forces that are trying to take back that, that flag. So and I think it, at this point with 50 yeah, tickets is, left, uh, they've got this lockdown big they, uh, they really do not want yeah, to just, sacrifice just any points they don't have to. So they don't okay, want... To lose like that to flag and that. lose more points, so okay. they're okay. holding a squad yep, back fine. there to keep that keep that flag for themselves. So yeah, it's, it's now up to Russ UK squad. If you hear that bomb, it has to be everybody. Yeah, now you Russ notice, UK, too, there's he's a lot now... of dead redcoats near that compound. Absolutely, back, it looks like there's redcoats storming it, but they're just not giving up to lose those tickets. So you see all those red coats, Say like Tibbsy, uh, Anti Citizen, Pair of Plays, Patty. Uh, one of them just gave up. I don't know what name that was, but it's Snacko. They're easy. all down, Project. but they're not giving up because they don't lose that ticket. Absolutely. And we're at 37. And we're at 46. I'm hearing some broken comms from Russ UK now saying they need a full assault from every single squad to take this fob. I tell you what, when the second he said that too, you can tell those guys get. Uh, they finally gave up, so med or they bled out, and uh, so that they could go respawn on a rally to come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get my guys to hold here. Let them come to us if they want it. Now Rossi coming like across the comms saying that the 303rd can come to yeah. them. Ouch. So a little bit of mixed uh, comms going on. We're at 43, so it's still close here. And if that happens, I tell you what, if they wait and don't take that fob out. This map could get extended by quite a bit. Just the fact that they're not pursuing each other anymore. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Richard, that and if the 303 is able to hold this fob, and if uh, it looks like I don't, I don't think that Jap squad is going to be able to take that. There, most of them are down, although two of them are still up, or three of them rather. I don't think they're going to be able to take that fob, and it's going to depend on how the 303rd 
charges for this flag that mean got one where the red coats are hiding it's going to depend on where where yeah, and no, how they attack don't trust that. you know don't whether they're going to be able to uh make a difference here yeah iron x bay just went down actually two red coats just went down too and we're at 41 tickets here for the red coats we're at 31 so 10 ticket difference here that's got to be a troll right Full sense of security. Roger. Hey, we got a red coat just sitting here that's about to go start digging out the fob. Nope, got it taken out. I don't know if you want to stay up high, Japs, and just keep nading that compound, brother. Yeah, this seems to be all over the fucking place. You know, for the audience again, too, one thing we're, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, I think we're all hoping for in the future. Two features that would be extremely nice is, hey, let's go into that squad leader's uh, point of view, and all of a sudden, boom, you're you're able to watch what that squad lead is trying to do and get his comms uh, and see those sorts of things. Or we also want another one um, that would be nice to see if, you know, down the line, where you lock onto a player and you can pivot the cam around them while you watch them press through it. So you're not so reliant on us flying through the air and in and out of things that we can, you know, switch that between players and our cams. Right, absolutely. I'm now hearing that um, they're asking Jap Squad to just kind of stay off in the hills and keep the 303rd busy and uh, just lobbing grenades down into that compound. Um, Jap still doing a good job of keeping his squad's rally point active, um, placing it down almost every time he spawns in. 303rd now comfortably sitting in their compound, and the uh, the Redcoats now, most of them now sitting on their defend flag. 303rd at 27. And we're at 36 here. So you see Rossi Raiders group, they're just sitting down there in the... At the ravine, just kind of, kind of kicking it. Yep. Um, They've been sitting down there for a while too. Busy on that yep. east side of the fog. I'm gonna send a little sneak in from the northwest. Now it's Blista saying that he's sending a recon party to come in from the northwest. I'm not quite sure who he's talking about. Maybe this uh, Hellfire Hickman squad over here. Well, so it seems like Russ's squad. Um, is the one that's kind of making any sort of push on the 303rd. They're, they're very careful at this point. They know the tickets are low. They know that they're very close. Um, so they're being very delicate about where they put their, uh, where they put their manpower because they don't want to have another wipe happen because if you have a squad get wiped, you know, that's, that's going to be a huge sway for the battle. Yeah. The, um... The 303rd, not a lot of uh, commander comms anymore. Oh, really? Okay. It's getting no, a little quiet it's, it's for the Redcoats. Yeah, it's getting a little quiet for the Redcoats as well. But it looks like the 303rd is making a push out of the compound. And I gotta step away it's one not second. Smoke smoke All right. on the hill. 303rd now lighting into the Redcoats. We'll see who wins this engagement. Grenades are flying. Those seem to be effective. Slippy Cat goes down. Doc yeah, East goes down. Sidorenko's still yeah. up. As is Banshee. But Scum also goes down. Or Scum is still up. Redcoats now have the numbers. We'll see if they decide to push. Rossi's still sitting yeah, down yeah, by the river, watching for any 303 members that might come out to the that's east. That's it. That's it. Just stay back to the flag. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Even Japs and all. Just, just let them come. You can hear uh, Rossi there telling that, uh, telling everybody that he thinks they should just let them come to them. Which is funny because I know the 303 is probably talking about the same thing. Both teams wanting to be defensive here as the tickets. Roll down. Jap squad still being very, very, very annoying for the 303rd here. Spawning in, getting some kills, running away. 
It's a very good tactic to keep them engaged in a different direction. Looks like the 303rd is crawling all over these hills looking for their rally. We'll see if they're able to find it. Alright lads, we're going to push for a fob to our north, right? We're going to get up with an ammo grate, we're going to start nading the fuck out of that fob. Um, just get the tickets down. Okay with that? Is that safe? Such fob so close to their mate? Eeeh. Three hundred and third defending the hell out of this fob. They've got four locations. Ammo. Peeking the corners. Red coats up on the hills over here. Almost out of range for effective fire. But still some kills going on over here, as you can see. Battleborn with the SVD. Getting scoped in. Checking up on that hill, looks like that Jap was able to move his rally point. And now it's poor Kruger getting the firing squad from these redcoats. As he pulls down by himself, Russ and Rossi now directing their team towards his location. I think anti citizen okay. season. Get to win it. Let's do it. We're now down to 31 tickets here for the Redcoats. Have an update for the tickets very soon for the Tigers. And the Tigers have 19 tickets remaining. We've got 30 here for the uh, for the Redcoats. Getting very close here. Very, very close. They're moving on the other side of the river. Rust to our south. And the Redcoats are over overreacting here. Now we're down to 13 tickets for the Tigers. So getting very close. 30 for the Redcoats. Tigers are bleeding. Rossi goes down. Kruger gets him. Para plays now. Looking. Anti-citizen now as well. Oh, wait a minute there. Oh, no. Unless I've got a major ticket lead, doesn't that mean we won? It's getting close down to the wire. Still 30 yeah, tickets for the Redcoats. Kruger goes down. Para plays gets him. CKY now coming back to check. 303rd staying in their compound. Jap's eye still up on the hilltop. We're sitting at 11 tickets. And 11 tickets left As for the there, Tigers. Blitz. Looks like they are yeah, not going to be losing their fob anytime soon. It's now down to who can kill who faster. Tell your boys not to give up. <laughs> Copy that. Jap's eye still being effective up on the hill here. We're now 29 tickets for the Redcoats. We're at 10. And 10. 10 tickets for the Tigers. Both matches were very close. I mean, we were within, what, 20 tickets of each other by the end, by the time of, you know, both matches being over? Was the last one that close? I believe it was. I believe it was, like, within 20. 20 or 30. I'll have to go check that footage. I took a screenshot of it right there at the end. I don't know if that shows there you the there, tickets Jets. on there. 29 right. tickets. Oh, and that's oh, for the audience. Shit. That's another feature that'll that'll come eventually when the dev. There's other things the devs are certainly focused on. We're taking too many cases. But I'm sure in the future we won't have to update you what the uh, the tickets are from from yeah, this right, side like you do now with Rusty streaming red coats. Yeah, you right. well, yeah, we'd love to have those tickets right up on screen for everybody to see. Yeah, we. we We've lost a 20 to that fob, haven't we? We're gonna have to either smash it or. Oh, it's tight. Just had a team kill. Infidel Rage killed uh, Kinger or Kinger. 
Um, maybe a misplaced grenade or something right there. Yeah. Trying to avoid those team kills. Down to 29 tickets for the Redcoats. They're talking about it yeah, being very not close. Yeah, seven right now. I see these Redcoats uh, defensing, building some defenses on their fob over here. With Blitz's group. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yep, Blitz is building. I, I, you know what it looks like they're doing is so they, um, they're just launching in rockets from up here. Yeah, so so DeFi just keeps uh, hitting up the, the ammo crate, dropping it down. Yeah, so once those, uh, yeah, once you have those ammo crates, man, you can just keep raining hell down. As well as the Grenadiers, because they're still effective from this range out here. All right, we're at five tickets, boys. Well, the Tiger's not giving up easy. Still no, firing they're, on the red they're holding that position. But I tell you, if Defy gets one more well-placed grenade, or excuse me, rocket, there goes one right there. I don't know. Yep, we went to four on that one. See, Defy's going to shoot another rocket down in there. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, just move off uh, if you don't think you're getting anywhere. They're down to three. Three they tickets, so it's going to be a win. I, I'm telling the... you right now, it looks like Defy with that rocket launcher. Just, he's... He's going back to his ammo crate. He's refilling. He's going to go back on his hill. He's going to shoot one right down to that uh, that fob. Here he goes again. Tickets are at two. Oh, Cowboy Chuck now. Getting, shooting him from behind. He gets Hellfire. Kruger's trying to come around that fob, trying to see if he can get some This is an enemy moving up your east! Copy! Defy didn't hit anyone on that rocket launch. Battleborn, Battleborn to get gets him. Kruger. That was yep. beautiful teamwork right there. Rossi comes over the comms screaming, there's an enemy coming up. And, uh... Oh yeah, they're firing like crazy on those guys. He was able to get them. That's enemy we are shooting at, right, Blitz? 0 3rd yes, with two yes. tickets. Yep! You know, Rossi may have been talking about Albert here coming up the front side of the hill. I believe he was calling to the east. So the uh, Redcoats on top of this hill taking fire from both sides. You've got to be down to, like, what, one ticket? Two two tickets still. Two tickets, wow. So we're about over on this. So, yeah, uh, yeah Redcoats about to pull it out again. But very close. So quiet. Very, yeah, by no means a... Um, just a steamroll, but you know, it just, and there you go. Yes! Oh, yes. Nice. Can you hear the Redcoats okay. celebrating there? Right. Oh, oh, God God damn. No oh. celebration on this side. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so that's going to do it for our coverage of the matches. Stay tuned. We're going to have our after party go live in about two or three minutes. We're going to have the squad leaders come in. We're going to talk about the match, talk about tactics, and generally just have fun. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we'll be back them, in just like a few. Give them like 10 minutes or so. Give them like 10 minutes or so just so that these guys can... Uh...